Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello. And today we are showing off our Blade Show scores. And this is actually not a Blade Show score, but I got a regrind on this before the show because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to carry between the Spartan Harsey folder with the new regrind from BGM Knives or my Farron Forge Archbishop 3.0. So now I got a nice deep hollow grind on this. It's nice and thin behind the edge. I love it. But let's get to the scores. So first one, now I will say... <laughs> We would have went about Blade Show far differently. We made a lot of mistakes, did not get nowhere near what we wanted, not even close. And I don't know. Mistakes is a strong word. We, we took it all in. It, it was rough. We made a ton of mistakes. <laughs> and next time, since we learned now and now we've, we've been there and we understand how it goes, it will go 100% differently next mm -hmm. time. Um, there's probably 90% of things that I wish we would have achieved that we did not including some purchases but first we have the new cold steel engage and now this is supposed to be stronger than the triad lock pound for pound or something like that i'm not positive if that's true or not so this one supposedly held 700 pounds 700 pounds they did have the one they tested on the table and the the blade had a huge dent in it from where it hit or something like that and it had a hole drilled into it and everything else we picked it up first thinking it was the knife right? yeah I did, and i was like what is this? <laughs> what happened like, to this thing why are you selling this <laughs> <laughs> but uh but supposedly it held held 700 pounds which is awesome it is very fidgety the only thing is it doesn't have a detent, like, at all. Um, similar to what you'd expect from an access lock, in a way, uh, because it doesn't hold the blade in, as you can see. You can still flick it and reverse flick it, but you're not, like, you're not exploding past the detent. You're just kind of using momentum to get it out. So the slow roll is probably the primary. But like I said, you can still flick it. You just got to use momentum. And then the lock is pretty far back. So you got to hold downward when you disengage it. Or just use your thumb kind of like you would on a triad lock. Clip point blade, S35 VN. Nice choke up spot. Um, not deep or a deep carry clip with uh, button screws, so we'll see how that works. It is reversible because this is very ambidextrous, but it is very, very much overbuilt. Oh, that's awesome. It I haven't tried this yet. It has a... Oh. Go ahead. We tried the one on the booth. I know, but the Brokey. Tried the Brokey one. <coughs> Excuse this me. This is awesome. Even though it has that. Once you get used to it, it's very, very fidgety. It yes, is fun it to is. play with. Um, it is overbuilt. The stop pins are nice and overbuilt. If you can see, you can see how big that stop pin is. Nice and large. Shouldered lock up. This has a spring in. This is very, very, very similar to the Scorpion lock. No, that, no it's even better in my opinion. I disagree. That's okay. Like a lot we on that. Agree to disagree. Like, I 100% disagree. For my but little baby hands, it's easier. It's still very, very good. And it's, um, like I said, it is very overbuilt and it is very similar to the triad lock. Or, sorry, not triad lock, scorpion lock. Um, you can see you just use the jumping, pull it back, has a spring in here, pushing it up, engaging it in between the stop pin and the tang of the blade, giving it a lot of strength. All right. Okay. I'm going to show the first knife that I purchased, um, and this is the Medford Smooth Criminal. Um, back in the day, the I know it's not actually a detent, but just for explaining easier, the quote-unquote detent in this knife used to be really weak, but as you can see, bang, that thing comes out full lion. So much stronger. It's Yeah, it's great. So it's really a pretty color, too. I've never really seen this maroon color on a knife before like this. Uh, the flipper tab, if you can see, has this really nice jimping, which helps you just fly that thing out. I love everything about it, um, you know, so it's it's lovely. And the best part for me, 
as a lady with small pockets is the fact that it is not a deep carry clip and the clip is inset pretty low. Not inset, but it's set pretty low, um, which means that saves me all this part of the knife is out of my pocket automatically, which makes this knife really only like this big in my pocket, which is great. But yeah, this um, is a purchase I definitely love. And if you look, I love these freaking grind lines. Okay, can you click the camera so it'll show better? Okay, no, it's um, the lighting. We don't have lighting? yeah, we don't have lights on. We have a, a light out, guys. We're trying. We got to replace the bulbs. Well, you get the point. Oh, there we go. You can see now. It. You can see them. Look at that. It's got a oh. stone stone wash on the spine, and then a hand satin. You can tell it's a hand satin because of the way it turns right here. So a machine satin would just the grind lines would just go straight across. You see how it rotates right there mm. like that? That's because it's a hand satin. Only you <clears throat> could do that. Well. Anyway, so Medford Smooth Criminal. But yeah, the, the detent though, <clears throat> it was so weak on the original. Everybody complained about it. Nobody liked this thing. This is very strong. It's like, a whole different knife. It's a whole different knife, 100%. Amazing. It actually has a nice, crisp detent. It like, might be one of the best button locks I've ever actually had. Because detent I, wise? Yeah, because I love the way that it drops as well. Like here, let me show one thing really quick. This is what I love about it right And here. it's very over, like, built. Like, it's really, really well built, overbuilt. Yeah, but look at my small hand, <clears throat> right? Like, it's not too big. This is one of those knives that literally can fit in anyone's hand. It's just as comfortable in my hand as it is with someone with a big hand. Now, watch this drop. I love this. Like, I didn't even, it's, the knife was perfectly vertical when I did that. Like, I love that. Um, the hardware is overbuilt, as you can see. Look, I think that's like a T20 or something like that. Huge stop in, then listen to this. Do it again. You can hear that lock engaging right here. It's so loud. It really reassures you, and it is rock solid every direction. Very, very well built. The Luft Avant. I got the Luft Avant now. This is uh, done by Riat, designed by Bearded Gear. And everybody else got these and was checking them out. I was one of the ones that never was included in that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, I never got to check one out. But I watched people rave about it and... I wanted to check it out, um, but I did not get in on the pre-order or anything like that. So at the show, I found the chance to get one in hand. Now, I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but I did hear, though, that a, a couple people told me that after you get it, it breaks in because I noticed I don't have the ting yet which I noticed in all the videos I've seen about it, it had a really loud ting. This one doesn't have it, but people told me that it will get it. Just just let it break in. And same thing with like the smoothness and everything. It's it's not as smooth as the one I ones I seen on video, but I heard it will break in. So, you know, I'm gonna allow it to break in and then give my impressions on it and see how I feel about it. It is done by React, like I said, titanium liners, M390 blade steel, very deep hollow grind, nice crown spine, nice strong crown spine but then it gets down super thin it has a very high hollow which i really love um access to the liner is really good and it is very smooth the detent on the flipper tab really good there is no jimping on the flipper tab it just has chamfers and then oh you can hear the, the ting kind of coming a little bit what yeah you can um i like how close it really quick i like how the flipper tab is placed really high like that yeah lots of leverage um yeah a lot of uh designs really miss out on that and it's like if you want your knife to have like a slightly lighter detent for like smoother action but not like too light throw a flipper tab on it that's above the pivot and you'll gain the leverage back that the detent isn't providing with its momentum yeah you want higher than the center of it's the pivot science. um and especially with the two forms of deployment so you're going to get a lot of leverage on the flipper tab up here and then it's not going to or then you'll also have a good detent down here because of where the hole is placed. Now, mm -hmm. I will say, for me, the hole is very easy to get to. I could see some people thinking it's a little low, but it winds up landing in a perfect spot for me. Can I try it? I just want to see if it's like that for me with the hole. Oh, no. For me, I like... The higher on the hole you, you flick, the stronger the detent. The okay, lower, yeah, the lighter. That's, that's, I did low on that one. Yeah. 
that's true. But uh, yeah, you can pretty much flick it any. Oh, not the middle. I kind of thought the detail was going to be a little stronger on the reverse flick. It is a little lighter, in my opinion. Yeah, but is. like I said, though, though, if you just flick high on the hole, it does have a stronger detail. I'm also doing this left. Or it feels as if it's stronger. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Yeah, no, this is pretty sweet. But, like I said, I will be uh, putting this in another video, letting it break in, testing it, and seeing how I actually feel about it over some time. All right, guys. This next one is a fixed blade that when I saw it, it called to me. The first time I saw it, I was like, wow. So We it, have had one of these on the channel before, yeah, but, but it wasn't about, like this. We're talking about the scales here, if I'm being honest. I was like, wow. So, this right here is the Tactical Everyday Dad kermode which i don't know what that word means i'd love to know um anyway so we have this beautiful um micarta it, it's like mexican blanket micarta is what i keep calling it i don't know if that's the official term but it's certainly what it looks like um and then we have magna cut steel um he did say that he was doing his hrc in between 62.5 and 63 um which is uh decent for magna cut and then um you know, it's really good, actually. First of all, gosh, first, stick around 63 is where I like to see Magna Cut. Look at this freaking edge. That was one of the things I think when I saw this, that I was like, wow, I really like the, the thickness of it. Um, and it's still like super. It's somewhat of a Japanese tanto. It's got a convex edge. It's really sticky, the edge. It really is. Like, it's got a good edge. Um, a couple other things to point out here is we have the double jimping on the spine. So, you know, you have your, your like, typical thumb jimp and then you have your like way up here pinch grip jimp which i love i think a lot of um this is missed uh, opportunity on a lot of knives as well um and then of course it comes with this pretty dope leather sheath um for me this fits around my neck which is awesome so i carry it around as a neck knife um I'm, i could also get you know some sort of a belt clip if i wanted to and put it on like that like scout carry which i think would be really great for this knife um ergonomics are perfect um honestly i love everything about it i like the sharpening soil bam got anything to say the my car looks like it's um i believe it is yeah it's a side cut section I'll zoom in really quick so you can see the fibers. You can see the fibers running it's up and down. I awesome. love side cut carbon fiber. But let's get to the next one. By the way, I just wanted to let you guys know that this was graciously given to me um, by Tactical Everyday Dad. And I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate that. Next is the Eutectic Trinity. This is a Leong Ma knife, a budget Leong Ma knife. I believe Riyadh's doing it. I'm not 100%, but it is Leong Ma. D2 steel, clip point blade, micarta with steel liners with a deep carry inset clip, but it does have the, the button screws. It has three forms of deployment, but because of the three forms of deployment, man, you can, this thing is really, really fidgety. Nice access to the reverse flick, nice big hole, whether you're right-handed or left. And then if you look here, you can see how it has the spine jimping, you know, a little bit far up, but then the, the jimping transitions into this finer jimping. And I always talk about this, the companies need to do that. Instead of using the, the wider jimping on the front flipper, change it to this finer jimping, just like this. So it has kind of a mohawk, you know, front flipper, and then it has the regular flipper. Both detents, the detent is so crisp on this. It's really, really well done. Very easy to reverse flick. And it has a nice stone wash. The geometry is really good. Good ergos, nice big choil, obviously. Um, the access to the liner is okay. It's good. It could be better, uh, but it's okay, though. It's not, it's not bad at all. But really cool knife. I wanted to get this on the channel because it is a Leong Ma, and I wanted oh. to to test, you know, a budget knife. I, like I said, I'm not 100% it's re yet, but I'm going to find that out. That's the one thing. It's not easy to do that that type of... Oh, I'm having a hard time because you're under. this flipper tab is under my hand. Um, but any, every other deployment, I'm sure I'll get it. But, man, that thing rockets out, though. Holy cow. Perfectly level D10, in my opinion. And I agree about the liners, too. They could be a little bit better. Wow, that's awesome. Some good action on that. Yeah, detent's great. All yeah. right, next. All right, uh, next. Um, oh, my gosh, I love this one. I'm so, or, no, I'll do this one. I'll do this one. 
Okay, so um, this is not a new knife, um, but I did get some new scales from... McBee. Or McNeese. McNeese. McNeese is the one who design who designs this for Spider Co. And so he makes custom scales for the McBee by McNeese. Yes. So McNeese is the designer of the knife itself too. Right. So this okay, so I'm not gonna lie, there was some scales there that were like popping colors, right? But this stained glass one, first of all, you can see in the different lighting how cool the colors turn. And then in some lighting how they can be more dull, right? But this is a one-of-a-kind scale. They're not making any more of these. This is the one that they had. So I'm the only one in the world with a McBee with these scales, which I thought was pretty, pretty cool. Um, uh, oh, you're going to see a whole bunch of them now when you go on Instagram. I know. I'm going to be really sad because <laughs> it's only it was the only one. Whatever. I don't care. I wish more people could have this. Honestly, I want everyone to feel the joy. Um, but yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty cool. Um, I really enjoy just the way that it changes color in, in the light and stuff. And it's cool to have a scale, you know, made by the designer of the, the knife that I love so much. All right, next I got, okay, so you know, I'll do this one first. So this was actually given to us by T. Kel Knives. I'm wearing one of their shirts and right now. I'm, Yes, she is. And I'm going to get more of their knives on the channel. They make 100% USA made um, knives, even the hardware is USA made. And they're the sweetest people ever. They are so awesome. They're really cool. 100%, yeah. Now, this is a really cool drop point blade with a sharpened swedge. It is nice and sharp right here. I love this blade shape for use. I mean, even just for regular everyday use, this is great. But it's also a, you know, something like a, you know, like a self-defense knife. The finish on the blade... If you look at it, you can see it is really cool. That is awesome. You can actually feel the the micro milling on it. I know the camera's messed up. Our lighting's all screwed up, guys. Sorry. I do have replacement scales in my card for it. And it does have, like, you know, a little spot back here for pressure points and things like that. It did come with a very, very well-done sheath. Nice. Let me back up the camera. Nice push off point but yeah i love it it is great and like i said i will be getting more and more of their fixed blades on the channel so that uh we can test them but this is the one i actually picked out um before i even uh seen them you know we had talked online and everything but when I seen them there, he wound up just giving me one there. And like I said, I am going to start picking out more knives from them so that we can get more of them on the channel. I know I've already said that, so let's get to the next one. Okay, so I don't want to pick favorites, but my God, this is like my dream, okay? So I was looking around for a knife the whole show. Um, I wanted something with a downward tip, and I wanted something small. You know, the Medford didn't meet the bill. Um, you know, everything else is a little bigger. But then I saw this right here, this little beauty. So, what we have here is a Pena X series. Um, what the heck is the name of this knife? I don't think I even know. A uh, mini Apache, I think. Mini Apache? I Maybe. Think, I we'll think. look into that. But it's an M390 blade. Um, you've got these awesome, is this fat carbon? Yes. Fat carbon scales it's with like the white, titanium white bolster. White storm fat carbon or something like that. Yeah. Um, so I just want to say the reason why I'm a little shaky on the knowledge of this knife is because when I walked by the booth, everyone that was walking with me, I halted them immediately and was like, stop. Yes, so, it's the X-Series Micro Apache. X-Series Micro Apache, yeah. And I halted all of them and was like, what is that? Had the dude pull it out. I flicked it once and I was like, give me it. So I love this. There is nothing bad about this knife. Like, seriously, that front flip is so good. Like... Oh. Yeah, you can flip it like a regular knife. Yeah, you can go like that if you want, but man, I like doing it like this. That's it's what just... I meant. I meant with your pointer. You can flip it with your regular knife. Oh yeah, like pointer. you can like you can like choke back this way if you want and do it like that. I don't have as much leverage that way for some reason. I'm better at it like canted to the side. I don't know. Whatever. Point is, do you. Anyway, um the access to the frame here is beautiful. Um it's super easy to move, yet the lockup is it still in a good position, not too early. 
Um, I, you know, it came perfectly centered. I love that it's small, but still has a clip. I appreciate that because for some of us with smaller pockets, just because the knife is small, it doesn't mean we just want to whip it in our pocket. I still would like to have a clip. It's not deep carry, which you guys know I like because it doesn't take up as much of my pocket with the knife. And, uh, it just looks cool. They did have it in a green and red version of the same thing, but I, I wasn't huge on those colors. So I just went with this and, uh, oh my gosh, the blade shape too. With this part on the on the spine, what would you call that right there? A swedge. A swedge? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I guess I probably knew that. But, um, yeah, and oh, it's just everything I like in knives. Like, seriously. That is an interesting choil, too. I suppose that would give you more sharpens, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got a good sharpening choil. Um, but, yeah, I like how I can easily Such flip it with, like, a almost like a regular knife. But you can also use it like a front flipper. The, the snap... You can hear that pop really loud. M390 steel. Um, very well done. You can see yeah. a little bit of blue in this fat carbon. You can. Right in the center. Oh, yeah. It's like navy blue. A little hint of it. A little hinty hint. And on the sides and the edges. But the jipping is just so well done. It's so easy to, to manipulate for yeah. such a tiny little knife. And it's not the type of jimping that hurts your finger, which I really appreciate. I love this jimping. It's my favorite type of yeah. jimping for yep. a front flipper. Agreed. All right. Next. Now, this is a, I forget what they call them, a secondary or... Se it's like a piece two it's, or it's, I know the name of the knife. No, 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 no. Um, like, there's like a weird word for it, like you said. So, this is a pair of, Spyderco Para 3, <laughs> and know, it's called a, um, a second theory or whatever it's called basically it's the ones that they were not willing to sell full price so for some reason they took it off the line like, like there's a, from an outlet mall it, it is <laughs> and there's a mistake on it so somewhere there's a mistake now i held a few of them and tried to find the mistakes i could not find the mistakes on two different ones this is perfectly centered the detent is really nice great detent um it, it it was a little bit stiff but it's breaking in very very nicely watch you just go to flip it one day and the blade just goes whoosh, flies whoosh, right out flies right off yeah oh my now gosh. there's no play any direction um i already do have a cme from ocd for edc that i will be putting on it it is a gray one and that's the little button you guys see on all my on my other spider codes that go right there it, you don't need to take it apart no tools required it just glues right on cme stands for compression lock made easy yeah compression lock made easy now this one is in maximet so i got it because it was only 85 dollars um for Zion. maximet and you know, for, on the pair of three, that's a really good deal. And it is still breaking in. I haven't taken it, taken it apart or cleaned it up or anything. But I can't find what's actually wrong with it. Somebody else had got one and they found a little blemish on their G10. I'm telling you, it's going to turn into a ballistics knife unexpectedly. My G10 <laughs> is really, really good. Um, like I said, everything yeah. else is, I mean, great on it. Yeah, yeah, it just needs it. to break in. That's it. <clears throat> All right, next, I wanted to get... Yeah, I'm out of knives, by the way. Okay, awesome. I only have a couple more. So, I wanted to get a Medford Praetorian Slim, or Slim Praetorian. I went and checked it out, and I liked it, but I hated the access to the lock oh bar. Oh my God, it was terrible. I hated it. A lot of you guys know um, the Medford... Slim Midi is one of my favorite knives, especially by Medford. I love this knife. So that's what made me want to get the Slim Praetorian. After checking it out and checking out this one, which is the, the Swift Manual, because they make this in an automatic too. So this is a Medford Swift Manual. I think it's called the Manual Flipper. I'm not sure if they also make this without the flipper, but they had the Praetorian Slim there. Um, they did not have a flipperless one, but I, I hated the access to the lock bar. It was horrifying. It just, it's so sharp and hard to get to. So this one is so much easier. The, oh yeah, also the detent was not as good on the Praetorian Slim. It was very light on the flipper. This one is great. The access to the lock bar is so much better than that one. I don't like how sharp this edge is, but I can get by it. Very smooth on the... it's thicker, though, because the other one was really thin. Yeah, yeah. Very smooth on the drop. And it is on bearings. Good access to the to the reverse flicking hole. This, this um, The hole works really, really well. It does have 
a beautiful satin, and it's got a two-tone satin, another hand set yeah. or a hand hollow finish because this is a hollow grind. It does get down nice and thin behind the edge. Titanium frame lock side, but aluminum show side, similar to this guy right here. Honestly. Because this is all, um, I believe this one is aluminum. Yeah, this one's yeah. aluminum. It might be titanium. No, I don't actually know. I think it. I it's think it's got to be aluminum because yeah, of the price. Yeah, and that it's was titanium, and it would have been a lot more. But um, can I just say really quick, this one really seems like almost the bigger non um, button lock version of the smooth criminal. Like it's very similar with the the. Um, I don't know. It's just there's a lot of similarities to me. Like I feel like if you don't like a button lock and you want something a little bigger, go with this one. This one's not a button lock, though. I know. I said if you don't want a button lock. Oh, don't, it's don't, bigger. don't. It's like a non-button lock version. Oh, sorry. Um, So it's then okay. you can see how this is like a mono block. So the, the side scale also is the backspacer. Cool. And then you have the titanium sure. frame lock side. Nice overbuilt hardware. He does have the hardware now where you can take them apart. And he has a little glass breaker right here or an impact tool. Like I said, detent is fantastic. The action is great on it, and I really like it. I, I really loved my Slim Midi, so I wanted to get one of the other knives. Now, maybe possibly in the future I'll get the Slim Praetorian and um, then just wind up modifying it myself. But Just quick question. Does the weight feel uneven with, with in your hand between the aluminum and titanium? Mm, I don't know. Like I, would, I wouldn't be able to tell. No. No? Okay. Uh -uh. I was just curious. Feels great. Let's go. Very, very drop shot. And then probably my main score from Blade Show, and I do have one more after this, was the Freeman, the titanium mm -hmm. Freeman. USA made, um, obviously the Medford's USA made, and it is in Magnet Cut. Titanium. I had this knife on the channel a long time ago but the aluminum version and i always wanted the titanium version i think the blade is just sick the way it looks i think it just screams america um it has a convex grind or sorry convex sharpened edge it is robust and thick, but this is a very overbuilt knife. No play, any direction. The the detent is fantastic for a button lock. Or not even for a button lock, just for any knife. This is a fantastic detent. Very, uh, um, lots of leverage in the flipper tab, and it hammers out. Really cool sound. This is one of the few larger knives that I absolutely love. I loved it back in the day when we had it, and I love it now. If I was a bigger human, I would totally carry it. And my favorite part, open it, is this. Those things. Yeah, it's great. Um, if you guys listen to the sound. It's like a beat. Great, great sound. And like I said, just everything is so overbuilt on it. I love it. I love the flag milled into it. It even has the stars. It's totally carryable, though. It's one of those overbuilt knives that you're not going to look. Oh, no, I carried it a lot. Yeah. I've already carried it a lot. I love it. It's not like silly sized. It's like overbuilt hardware, nice and sturdy, large knife, but totally, totally uh, usable on a daily basis, carryable in a normal situation. It does come with a lanyard pin on the back, the button so easy to disengage it makes the tink even when you do it slow it's like, yeah, yeah it's great man. i love it absolutely love this one so one other knife that i did get but i did not purchase but i did get it and we are going to be putting it on the channel maybe i shouldn't even show it yeah, um i would save it save it yeah all right guys that's it guys love you guys thank you guys for watching peace peace